my name is Jessica Lashaw. Thanks for listening. Um, maybe you see me on YouTube singing and rapping with my ukulele on the subway here in New York City. Um, I'm making lots of music and making friends and excited to be here. You know what? Um, I think that's, that's interesting because I started writing music not knowing that I was writing music. It wasn't like I sat down and think, oh, I better write a song or compose something here. I grew up in like rural Pennsylvania, and my parents have always had a lot of animals, and I love animals dearly. So some of my earliest memories would just be, I mean, this sounds like maybe not even real, but I would go outside and I would just spend time with animals and I would make up songs and I would sing and they seemed to like it, and I definitely liked it, and I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know I was writing music. I was just doing what came naturally, and hanging out with the animals I loved, and making music, which was something that just seemed normal. I didn't know that, that other people didn't do that. So one time I was in my bank, okay, and the thing about me is that I just love old vintage things, and I get these sentimental attachments to them. So I found, I was out in LA with my family, so my family lives out there, and I found this old, beautiful little purse that reminds me of a saddle on a horse for some reason. And I really loved it, and I've like used it all the time, and it's literally falling apart. And so much so that I've safety pinned all the sides to keep it from falling apart. So I was at my bank, and I was just, um, leaving, but I had my little purse because I had just made a transaction for her. And this guy comes up to me and he just stares at my purse and then he looks at me and he says one thing. He just says, if you have a hard time letting go, I can shoot you. And I was like, I was like, yes I do. And it was, it was hilarious and he didn't want anything from me. He wasn't, he just made this, you know, observation that people would pay a therapist lots of dollars to hear. And then he walked on and I just thought it was an amazing miracle. Honestly, um, New York is such an inspiring place to be, and especially as an artist, like there's this is the place where you go, like to follow follow your dreams, follow your heart. There's so many dancers that come here hoping to land a job, musicians, actors, everyone, photographers, you know, writers. It's really it's like there's so much motivation everywhere you go. But I think like the sounds of New York City are really inspiring, just like the busy um, sounds of traffic and then even like the rhythm of the subway. And I have been, I mean I started rapping before I moved to the city, but being here in the city has made me just want to rap even more. It's something about that like busy, quick, like um, staccato feeling of, um, that just makes me want to rap. So I think that has definitely uh, motivated me to rap even more being here. One summer when I was still, like, I was young, like, a little girl, not a little, little girl, but kind of little girl, my brother, one of my older brothers went off to art school in Philadelphia, and he came back with this CD, I remember, and he was like, they're super good, they're called Indigo Girls, and I love them, and I was like, oh, Indigo Girls, that's cool, and he would just play them all the time, and basically, like, my musical education is, I have three older brothers, was spoon-fed by them, so I would just listen to whatever they were listening to, so for a whole summer, he listened to Indigo Girls, and I... I fell in love with the harmonies and just like um, their lyrics were really interesting and they were they were good storytellers and so that was probably the first women that um, influenced me. But then let's see, I mean the other there's so many, you know, like then Alicia Keys arrives on the scene and she's this classically trained pianist and being a pianist that's inspiring. But then she's got this like soulful voice that's so exciting and moving to listen to. And then there's someone like Pink who does whatever she wants to do and literally writes a whole album about breaking up with her husband and then, hey, she's back with her husband and she's pregnant. Like, it's amazing. She does what she wants to do and her voice is inspiring and um, she sings about political things like she thinks, sings about the things that she cares about and I, I am moved by that and inspired by that. So those are some of the women that have definitely inspired me. Basically, it's, it's really funny. I didn't start a blog to try to inspire anyone, or it's just something that I, I'm, I'm a writer, and I, I always have things to say, and I think being a dancer and a musician, and, um, you know, being an artist is a communicator, first and foremost. Like, you're communicating a story. Every person has a story to tell, and we all have different avenues that we tell it. I tell it through 
art for some reason. That's my job. That's what I have to do. Um, so, I mean, honestly, I started my blog because I was touring with um, with a show, and I wanted people back home to be able to like know about my life still. So I started writing every day, and it became something that was really therapeutic for me because. Um, I didn't know, but I, I went through this really difficult timing. It was life, right? So life happens, and we go through hard times, we go through good times. And writing about it for me was a way to kind of like get my feelings out on paper. And then my feelings weren't so big and overwhelming; they were small and on paper, and I was okay then. So that's one thing. And then, I mean, now it's exciting because there are more people. Like I've kind of been. It's like someone has this YouTube video has shown up. Like someone turned a flashlight on what I'm doing, and people can see now, and that's exciting. And so now uh, I feel like the message I want to convey is is truly to be authentic and to be yourself. And because this YouTube video that you know you mentioned. Um, it captured me being myself on the subway. I didn't learn a gimmick. It's not like I suddenly learned how to juggle cats or something and it got people to notice. Like I was just doing what I do and someone happened to be there filming it and it was so random and so spontaneous. Um, but it's, and even now, like even now that there is some attention coming my way, which I'm very grateful for, it's not like all of a sudden I have to try to make things because I make things, that's what I do. Like I have this blog, you can see. I've written it every day for like three years maybe. I have songs I put on YouTube for a couple of years, like this is what I do already and now people are noticing. So my encouraging thing and that what I hope people get from my blog is A, to be authentic, B, life is hilarious and like you need to be able to laugh at it, like cry, sure cry the parts that hurt because there are parts that hurt, but realize that like you can keep a sense of humor about life and you're going to be doing okay. Um, and also like to, to understand that Whatever you're going through, the pain and all that stuff, it's not the final word. That I really believe in hope and redemption, and that as long as you keep following your heart, making good choices, taking care of your heart, surrounding yourself with people that are good for you, then it's going to turn around and there's going to be good that comes out of even the worst moments. So. so, you can find me on Facebook. Um, I have an official music page, it's Jessica Latinoff official music page, um, or on Twitter, junegirl0663, or you can go to my personal website, which is thislifeinwriting.com.